Oh, hey, hi! Welcome back to your girl, Brittany, and I have another tutorial for you for this super cute ATM. Oh my gosh, super adorable. And do not let it scare you. It is extremely easy and it is super, super fast to make. So all it just really is, is your decorating style that will take up your time. But if you are interested in making this and seeing my future uploads of all my tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out and give this video a thumbs up. So then that way your girl is not being missed. All right. So stay tuned for the tutorial, guys. All right, let's go. First, we're going to start with the bottom portion of the box, and we are going to make this just like we would any other. So we're just going to go ahead and skip right over this, all right? And then next, we're going to work on our front face of it, and we're going to fold on our score lines, and we are going to cut little notches in between all of those score lines up to the joining score line. This is going to help you flex it and be able to attach it to your side panels, and I do strongly, strongly suggest that you mat all of your pieces of this box beforehand before attaching anything because it will make it a lot easier for you. Once that's all completed, we're going to fold on those score lines and we're going to go ahead and put it to the side. So that way it's just ready for us when we attach it to our side panels. Speaking of, that is what we're going to do next. And again, make sure you mat your pieces before you do anything else. Now I'm going to grab my scoreboard and I am going to make a mark at the one and a half score. And then on the other one, because it's going to be on the other side, on the opposite end, I'm going to mark it at two. And then I'm going to put them together with the decorative side or the non-decorative side to each other and I'm just gonna round my top portion. This is definitely optional. I definitely did not want the sharp corner and I didn't want a little small corner rounding. So now to the attaching of it, you're going to line the top piece, which is your two inch score, and you're gonna bring it down. The reason why we marked our panel is because we wanna make sure that the beginning of this is happening before that score line, like literally right before it. And then we're gonna take that bottom portion and we're going to line it up with the bottom corner so then that's where you'll know how your little angled piece of it is going to attach so now i'm taking off the score tape i'm adding my glue and i am starting off with that top portion and then once i get to that next flap again i'm going to make sure that it lines up right before that score line don't want to do it on top but just right before and then I'm going to remove the tape from my next two panel portions. I'm not going to worry about that third panel being where it needs to be. I care more about the last panel because making sure that that is perfectly lined up to that corner, it'll then set everything else in place for you. going to grab our next piece which is our base attachment and this is just going to attach to the panel that we or the front face that we just attached and this is going to complete the whole box look so then when you add your other panel to the other side you'll have your complete top of your box and then I'm just attaching it to the front of the panel and then to the side of the panel so because again we have to attach the other half of the panel to get everything going. So because we already did the first one, you already have the idea of how it all goes together. So I'm just going to remove the tape and add my glue on all of my little flaps and I am going to attach it, but still making sure that I have everything properly aligned. So you wanna make sure that you are right before, right before that score line and then making sure that your bottom piece your which would be what your fourth panel is lined up to your corner so then that way everything aligns up properly and guess what that is it <laughs> literally that is it you just add your box now be careful with this it does um, get a little tricky just a smidgen because of the 
little flappies that we had attached, it kind of causes a discrepancy with trying to put the uh, bottom portion of the box in. But I mean, it's not like it's missized or anything like that. It's just because of those flaps. But just go ahead and do you decorate it however you want to decorate it. Gift it to a friend and add some goodies. Have it as decor piece in your crafty space or somewhere in your home. With mine, I added gems for my buttons and then I also added real buttons for my numeral buttons on there. I used my alpha stickers to add things I did. Um, like a faux little credit card sticking out like it's so fun guys and I do really hope you enjoyed this one so I will see you in the next video bye